A second official trailer for Killers of the Flower Moon dropped today, and I can't wait to see what more footage we're getting from this film. The anticipation is building. I'm going to take a look at this trailer next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw, John Roca here. How are you doing on this Wednesday afternoon? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I am here to take a look at this new trailer for Killers of the Flower Moon. This is the second official trailer. We had an official trailer a few weeks ago, then we had a teaser trailer a few months ago, uh, and uh, people have really enjoyed my reactions uh, to this uh, to these trailers. So, you know, and I want to highlight this movie. I want to make sure people go and see this movie. I want to make sure people don't forget about this movie. It is going to be in theaters in certain cities, but also on Apple TV Plus quickly after. So I am looking forward to this one and if anything's going to give Oppenheimer a run for its money best picture wise I really think it's going to be Killers of the Flower Moon now, I haven't seen Maestro I haven't seen some of these other ones that are debuting at Venice or TIFF or what have you so I've got I'm, I'm reserving judgment until I see everything but for right now Oppenheimer is my number one but Killers of the Flower Moon feels like it's coming in to take its place possibly and this one of course starring Leonardo DiCaprio Lily Gladstone and Robert De Niro directed by Martin Scorsese based on the book here uh, by David Grant Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, uh, the Osage murders and the birth of the FBI, and Jesse Plemons playing the uh, agent who comes in, I think, who uh, spearheads the investigation of these murders that are happening of the Osage people by these white people. I think Robert De Niro is leading them. Haven't seen too much about who else might be leading them, but certainly that's the situation. It's described as an epic Western crime saga where real love crosses paths with unspeakable betrayal so what more of the movie are we going to see in this trailer i'm real curious to find out so let's not hesitate any longer let's bring up this uh, trailer and take a look at the second official trailer for killers of the flower moon whose land is this my land <laughs> damn that's a good response well 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 our war hero has arrived oh wow that's new footage you a good choice coming back here Osage are the finest, wealthiest, and most beautiful people on God's earth. Wow. They outsmart everybody. They have the say. Who gets the oil? Son, I got a question. You like women? <laughs> That's my weakness. <laughs> well, we mix these families together. Wow. And that state that money flows color. the right direction. It'll come to us. Shomikasi. That's how you are. I don't know what you said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come here? Wow. I work with my uncle. Are you scared of him? No, oh, he's a he's the nicest man in the world. The old sage. The time is over. We got to take Jesus. Back control of our home. I was sent down from Washington, D.C. to see uh, about the There's Jesse, yeah. We have so many deaths, we've lost count. There's just bad luck. Seems more like an epidemic than bad luck to me. No sages dying oh, by God. the enemy. Do not let them die alone. Evil surrounds my heart. Jesus. You gotta pick a side. I don't even know if you love me anymore. Of course I love you. Then kill these men who killed my family. Did your wife say who she was most afraid of? Oh. Don't do something you're gonna regret for the rest of your life. Oh my God. Oh. Ooh, that is emotional. <laughs> wow. Uh, all of these trailers have really brought um, the emotion of um, this story right to the forefront, every single one. And it's been fantastic to see different footage being used uh, in every uh, single one of these that uh, deliver no less of a powerhouse of a, a punch, an emotional punch uh, to your face and to your heart. 
Uh, and certainly seeing Lily Gladstone collapsing on the stairs, building to that moment in the trailer itself, uh, is pretty effective and unsettling and heartbreaking on so many levels. And already we're hearing from people who've seen the movie that she is an absolute standout in the film. And you see David Ehrlich's last quote there uh, in the uh, trailer saying that this is Leonard, Leonardo DiCaprio's finest performance of his career. And it certainly looks that way from every trailer that I've seen. We're in the middle of doing Wolf of Wall Street right now on the cinephiles and really enjoying his performance. Performances under his performance in that movie under Martin Scorsese's direction. And I think that's maybe the greatest performance of his career. This might be taking that place uh, for sure in the ferocity of all of that. And who knows? I mean, The Revenant, certainly Native American connected in what goes on there and him uh, being uh, married to a Native American woman and having a son and what happens there. This also a, uh, a Native American love story here for him falling in love with Lily Gladstone's character. Will this also lead to another um, Best Actor nomination, possibly another Best Win for Leonardo DiCaprio? But I like that the, the trailer is focusing on the Osage people, what they're going through, what they're enduring, the proud, uh, proud nature of their people and seeing the incredible, uh, beautifully uh, well done costumes and outfits of them as uh, there in the town and as the as a pro predominant force there in the town and then seeing the dirtiness, the evilness of Robert De Niro's character. What is it about people when it comes to greed? They will destroy and kill anyone to get that oil, to get that money, to get that those dollars in their pockets or in their bank accounts and then shamelessly go to church on Sunday and pray to God. It is something that I've never, never understood in my mind, and seeing it here in this trailer is just hammering the point home even more as we're dealing with all of that stuff going on in our world all over again. This film couldn't come at a more perfect time in our, uh, in our country, in our world right now with everything that's going on out there uh, in the streets and in our countries, uh, for God's sake. So this looks fantastic. The direction, the cinematography, all the new footage, uh, De Niro's accent, I, you know, it's a Southern accent. He does a decent job with that uh, most of the time, but it's really Lily Gladstone and Leonardo DiCaprio who you see as the heart of this movie throughout this trailer. It's fantastic to see. And Jesse Plemons as well coming and getting a little more of Jesse Plemons is nice. So what did you all think about the trailer? Did you like it? Did it unsettle you? We certainly saw a lot of kills in this trailer, a lot of dead bodies in this trailer, letting us know the emotional roller coaster that we're going to be going on in this movie. Um, did you like it? Did you like the cinematography? Did you like directions? Did you like the performances that you saw in the scenes? Let me know in the, down in the comment section below. Did anything not work for you or are you worried about anything? Let me know down in the comment section below as well. Remember to hit a like on this video, share it on your social media, and hey, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do here. Heading towards 50,000 subscribers here on the Outlaw Nation channel. Help us do that. And if you want to join the Patreon, patreon.com slash John Roca. See all the multiple tiers available for you. All right, Killers of the Flower Moon coming out later on this year, October 20th. That's my birthday weekend. Definitely going to go see it again after I see a screening in the theaters that weekend. It's also coming out on Apple TV Plus a little bit later, and it's going to be on IMAX. So they just announced that, uh, I think, about a week ago. So I'm looking forward to seeing this on IMAX as well. All right, take care of yourselves. Be well. And I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation.